Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for another video, another intuitive spiritual download. If this is the first time that you're coming across my channel, welcome. Come on in. Like, share, and subscribe as you feel the vibe that you need to do that. Whatever you decide to do, I support you in the energy. Take what resonates and leave the rest for somebody else to take. And now, listen, if you're returning back to the channel, then you already know that you know that you know what we do around this time. <laughs> is we sing a little song by way of our soul tribes kumbaya listen because i love you and you love me and we are a beautiful happy family listen i got all my brothers and my sisters and my soul tribe cousins and aunties and uncles with me i love y'all so much peace be with you shalom and namaste listen soul tribe that's enough come on let's get into this download listen it's been too crazy on the spiritual block the block by way of the downloads have been hot they've been coming out piping hot as a matter of fact show me what it is i need to see holy spirit please and thank you court case oh we somebody could get i don't know what the hell they got going on but somebody got child support issues domestic violence let's find out some type of fraud case theft or maybe all of the above honey that sounds like everybody in Karmicville. <laughs> this sounds like every single person in Karmicville. The bitter Bonnies, the bitter Bettys. I mean, it's not that far-fetched. You know what I mean? Court case, child support, domestic violence. Clarify this. What is this? Holy Spirit, order in the court. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of energy coming out. First is court case. Then there's a sexual connection. Okay, that was extreme. Okay. Wow. So there's a court case. I wonder if the sexual connection came before the child support. <laughs> Somebody pointed their toes to the stars, baby. It ended up in some type of child support court case. Okay. Show me what I need to see, please. And thank you. Vacation. Somebody needs to go on a vacation. Somebody could be overworked. That could be for me. But I kind of love what I do, so I never feel like I'm working. But I guess I could use a vacation. That would really be nice, right? A long time. A trip. What else do we got here for the Divine Collective? Oh, God. Wrong way, honey. Somebody is a walking, breathing red flag, okay? Whatever you trying to decide on. It's a hell to the no for the universe and spirit, okay? So let's just see what we got here, okay? Let's start Let's start with these cards. Court case, clarify. Okay, well. <sighs> I almost said karmic lives matter. Karmic lives matter. They do matter. They do. They're in the tower, though. Four of Wands could be a domestic situation, living situation. I'm not getting child support. I'm getting domestic situation. There could have been some type of an argument. There could have been some type of situation. I don't know with that tower and that house, okay? Somebody could have really got into it in the house. And I don't condone violence, but somebody could have really tried to attack somebody. Domestic violence. Show us what this court case is about. I just heard restraining order. Okay. Wow. Whew. Graph, this is not my life. Lord have mercy, seven of pentacles. Somebody's past came back to haunt them. Somebody could have gotten into some type of an argument in a household with somebody, okay? I, it smells karmic all the way from over here, okay? <laughs> Just so you know, that is my first intuition. Somebody could have gotten into some type of argument in a house over something from the past that somebody found out. A long hidden truth, I just heard. Somebody was hiding something, seven of pentacles, yeah. Could have been a child. Well, maybe they were a child support case. Somebody could have had a child. Ace of Pentacles. Somebody uh, started a new beginning. Okay. Seven of Pentacles to the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody could be seven months pregnant. Who we? Somebody dropped their seed and now there's a child here. So somebody got into it in a household with somebody over a child. And now they're in child support case. I mean, in a child support case situation. Was this before or after the sexual encounter? I don't know. We'll see. Clarify the situation. Please and thank you. It had to have been. Somebody was connecting something at some point. Yeah, King of Cups. Somebody wants a whole new beginning. 
or they have a whole new beginning. Okay, King of Cups. Wow, I feel like this is something from the past that's now intervening with somebody's new beginning. Damn, clarify. Well, seven months ago was not that long ago. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Somebody made an offer to somebody, okay? Could have been a younger person. An empress, yeah. Somebody got pregnant, honey. Who we? Oh, goodness. Child support court. What happened? Show us, yeah. Who we? We listen. I don't know what happened. Something happened possibly with an empress, high priestess. Okay. You could have walked away from somebody. This person's madly in love with you. They want to take a leap of faith, honey. I don't know what this. Show me the child support. What's going on there? Yeah, somebody was sneaky. So somebody had a whole nother situation going on. Is that what this is? And now somebody wants to be with you. There's a child involved, a, a new baby. Ace of Pentacles is a new baby. Seven of Pentacles or somebody is about to be born. A child is about to be born. Seven of Pentacles. Something that happened at least seven, eight uh, to nine months ago. Somebody was doing something in a sneaky and deceptive way. Clarify what's going on here. This person's in love with you. Mm -hmm. They want to heal this. Okay. This is the catch though. It's a red flag on this thing. I ain't going to even lie. Even though there's a whole bunch of love here, somebody needs some breathing room. Somebody's leaving a house because they know that you're their soulmate. I don't know how this is like... What's the seven of swords? Somebody was married. Is that what it is? Yeah, somebody was with a queen of wands. All right, so listen, something was real lustful, okay? Whatever this is, or maybe you're the one that's at the home. Maybe you're. Maybe this is your person and somebody dipped out and did something sneaky and deceptive because I feel like they were hiding you and this new baby to whoever this queen of wands is. This is the sexual connection right here. Wow, okay. Whatever it is, this King of Cups is in his feelings about it. Somebody can't take something back. What's going on with the sexual en encounter with the Queen of Wands? What happened here? The chariot. Okay. Somebody was either traveling to go see somebody. Okay. I just heard doing their dirty work out of town. Okay. Well, that was creative and nice. Somebody is like away, like far away too at that. Seven of Swords. Somebody was sneaky and deceptive. Look, Page of Wands. Somebody's got a child person could have children with both these women yeah sure the hell do child support so maybe that's the significance about child support because everybody needs to be supported every child needs support right okay page of pentacles queen of wands page of wands so somebody's getting news about possibly somebody's got a new baby a home a, a empress a, i don't know if this is your wife four of wands or what this is somebody's trying to heal their relationship after dipping out on some type of sexual encounter with the Queen of Wands, and this person could have gotten pregnant as well. Page of Pentacles, or they went back to the past, Seven of Pentacles, to somebody that either they already had a child with, but now they're wanting to take a leap of faith with this High Priestess, but it looks like the Eight of Cups, this High Priestess is walking away with the child. Okay, well, damn. Show us, show us what we need to see. Jeez. Yeah. This, yeah, this person's walking away. Whoever this high priestess is, this empress, okay? They could be a new mother or about to be like, dude, somebody's about to have a baby any day now, queen of cups. Somebody's walking away, three of pentacles. They could be discussing something legally. Uh, three of pentacles could represent a lawyer, somebody that they're collaborating with so that they can leave. Page of cups, something about a child for the well-being of the child. Okay. There could have been an argument or something that was just not safe. I don't really get, you know, domestic violence. Like, oh my God, you know, it went from zero to a hundred real quick. I'm getting just somebody having some type of argument, discussion, debate, angry. Listen, it's a sexual encounter here. This person went back and dipped back with somebody that they already had a relationship with. Yeah, there was an argument. I can't make it up. Five of Wands. Five of Wands represents silent competition. Whoever this Queen of Wands is, I don't know if they knew that they were in the picture or somebody didn't know that you were in the picture. There's a new baby here. Somebody's got a whole house and a new baby over here. Four of Wands, this is your soulmate, this high priestess. They're leaving you though because you've been sneaky and deceptive. Seven of Swords, they could be sneaky now. They, You could just come home and they're gone, honey. I'm gonna be honest. Somebody's taking a leap of faith, period. Regretting going back to this 
Queen of Wands. Why? I feel like this Queen of Wands and this King of Cups are doing nothing but fighting. Yeah, heavy on the Leo energy. Something's been illuminated. Something's been made very, very clear where somebody wants to be. And that's causing a lot of friction. Clarify this vacation. What's going on with this vacation and going the wrong way? Four of Cups. Okay, so somebody had a, a vocation. <laughs> somebody could have said they were going traveling. Somebody could have said that they were going away with, with friends or whatever. Whatever. They were on a vacation with this Queen of Wands, honey. And something got illuminated. Okay? Something got illuminated. I'm like, oh, vacation. That'll be nice. You know, no. Somebody's ass got caught up. Had a sexual encounter. Possibly produced a child. Or this is somebody from their past they already had a child with. Somebody was on the fence. This empress is very, very pregnant. <laughs> High priestess. Okay? To the empress. To the ace of pentacles. To the seven of pentacles. Somebody is real pregnant. And somebody's protecting their peace. Eight of Cups, this is a peace move. This high priestess is leaving to be at peace while in her pregnancy. Queen of Cups, she's caring about her child. And she's psychic and intuitive. Ooh! Clarify the vacation before this just goes from sugar to shit. Listen, Ten of Cups, yeah. This person, I don't know, this person had two families or what the hell he was doing. Ten of Cups. He could have been, this could have been a family vacation. He could have gone va on vacation with this Queen of Wands and his child. Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Mm -mm. Child, this is a mess. Yeah, look, I can't make it up. I, this fell right on top of the Seven of Swords. I told y'all, listen, I meditate over these cards. You understand me? They're going to tell me the truth. Listen. Ten of Swords fell right on top of the Seven of Swords. Somebody betrayed a whole high priestess for somebody that they have a very intense sexual connection with too. There's absolutely a connection here. Somebody traveled with somebody. Yeah, they sure the hell did. Two of Wands. Ooh, we. Oh, God. I just heard the song. These are my confessions. Something about the, the chick on the side says she got one on the way. I don't know. Somebody had a whole house over here. This don't sound like no chick on the side. Not an empress, high priestess. No. That's bringing in an earth angel baby, an ace of pentacles. Like, are you crazy? A queen of cups? Like, no, this ain't nobody on the side. Four of wands. This is somebody's soulmate. This is somebody's twin. But so is this. On a sexual level. Because they're fighting now. This whole relationship is under judgment. Whoever this King of Cups and Queen of Wands is, this Leo energy, don't have to be a Leo. Could be just a fire sign energy. Okay? Even if she's not, they're under judgment. Somebody's going to court for a divorce, child support, something. Clarify the wrong way. Yep. Did I just say clarify the wrong way? The hangman. Something failed. Backfired. Boomerang. Damn, this was like fast moving karma. It's like somebody did their dirt and that shit just backfired. But then you got a whole high priestess at home who's intuitive, who's praying for the truth. And you wonder why the truth came out so soon. <laughs> Clarify going the wrong way. Vacation. Maybe they thought this queen of wands was the one. Yeah, look. To a sword, somebody was indecisive. So they just decided to keep two Ten of Cups, one with the High Priestess at home, and then this Queen of Wands. So they took on a, a, a sexual vacation with this sexual encounter. Somebody was totally indecisive. So they just didn't decide. Let's just keep it real, Ten of Cups. Somebody had a family with both these women, two of swords. Look, child. Order in the damn court. And look at what's at the bottom of the doggone deck. I cannot make it up. Attention, karma. They are paying for what they have done to you. <sighs> High Priestess, listen. You already know. Whoever you are, you already know. This person is about to go through hell. Somebody's ass is about to lose everything. Because they were too greedy. Five of Pentacles, whatever's going on in court, child support. You got two child support cases here. With the page of wands, this queen of wands, somebody could have requested some type of paternity test. Page of wands is communication. 
Mm -mm. Somebody wants to get paid. Somebody's waiting on child support. You got one that just came, one that's about to be born, not just not just came, but that's about to be born really soon. Is this look, we're about to find out here. Is this child with the Queen of Wands? Is this his child? The star. Damn. Yep. <laughs> yep. You got star seed babies too. That's what's so crazy. Clarify. Yep. Could be an Aquarius. This is a younger child though. This is not a baby. This this child is about maybe 10, 12 years old. Okay, is what I'm getting. I'm getting a knight. They could be they could be a teenager too. Yeah, somebody could be a teenager. Show me what I need to see. So was this supposed to, yeah, somebody's a teenager. Knight of Cups, a knight. This person's got a lot of love for their son. King of Cups to the Knight of Cups. It flew right over there to the King of Cups. Wow. Whew, child, something is, yeah. Something about the past. Maybe this father feels as though he needed to make this up. He was considering being with this Queen of Wands and their child. And then he had a high priestess over here, Empress, that's about to give birth to their child. Somebody was, somebody was indecisive, yeah. Somebody was indecisive, but there were so many red flags on this Queen of Wands situation is what Spirit is saying. It's not that one woman is, or is, is like, you know, uh, better than the other, not to be compared, but somebody uh, that he left for whatever his reasons were. And to think to go back to that makes me feel like they just went right back to whatever bullshit they had going on, which was the Five of Wands. These are two people that have, you know, been together for some years. So to consider that the red flags, it's like wrong way. And you took this person on a family vacation. Lord, have mercy. Now you're in spiritual court and child support court for two children. Now this person seeing clearly clarify King of Cups. They want to take a leap of faith. Yeah, they're seeing the truth. They want to take a leap of faith with this high priestess that walked away. Somebody's gone, though. Eight of Cups. This person walked away. Somebody is like psychic, intuitive. They can see. They can feel. They don't have time for this. Somebody could be even more sensitive being pregnant uh, in terms of their gifts, in terms of their intuitions. Okay? Yeah. Somebody's like, I'm out as guided by spirit. Somebody's like, mm-mm. Now this King of Cups wants to tell the truth, walk in the truth. I feel like it, I don't know what this is. Anything is possible. Yeah, look, he wants to reconcile bad. This is absolutely the higher vibrational match over here. Uh, honestly, with this Queen of Wands, there's just drama. There's drama. There's betrayal. She could still have somebody she's fooling with, but then they're trying to say they're getting back together and went on this vacation and he lied to this person figuring, where are you going? You're pregnant. You can't go nowhere. I'm going on a vacation. Takes a whole vacation with this Queen of Wands and this child. Ten of Cups comes up. That's a family vacation. And all the all the red flags are there. Look, yeah. King of Wands energy. Clarify the King of Wands. Yeah. Listen, whoever this Queen of Wands is, okay? Or this King of Wands. This King of Cups, excuse me, is now coming up as this King of Wands. I'm going to be honest with you. This is a karmic ass relationship. Queen of Wands to the King of Wands is karmic as hell. With this five of wands, it is. Now, in a normal spread, Queen of Wands is radiant, confident. King of Wands, fine as hell. Listen, they look good together. They sexy. They both, you know, are very upstanding people, very bold, very vibrant, very authentic. But this right here, this is heartbreak, heartache, breakup. Somebody's got to come to the realization that this five of wands shit is played out. Okay, this is like people that like to fight and then have sex, fight and have sex, fight and it's like that shit's unstable. Somebody's in a whole karmic situation. This is what I'm getting. It's drama. It's fire. It's anger. It's then it's sex. It's like weird. No, uh, trauma, <laughs> unhealed little girl, unhealed little boy. Hello, listen, not to, not to mention you have a child involved. Okay, so you have to have some level of a relationship hopefully fingers eyes and toes crossed 
with this queen of wands at some point now this person is wanting this this high priestess show me what the ancestors are saying because the wrong way somebody had a whole bunch of red flags so i guess maybe initially they had planned to leave this high priestess out in the cold or maybe just keep her there is what i'm getting until they went and had another family and figured it out i don't know but there's some type of sexual chemistry here some type of sexual connection here and then there's a spiritual connection here these people have crazy sex is what i'm getting okay whoever these people are king of cups king of wands king of you know the king of wands is coming up as a king of cups and the queen of wands whatever okay but on on a intellectual not even intellectual let me just not even say that what am i looking for uh on a spiritual level there is no connection this is what they're having to come to the realization of there's no loyalty yeah there's no loyalty they don't want to admit it yeah somebody's been juggling two of pentacles back and forth back and forth back and forth and now that this high priestess is saying i'll make the decision for you somebody is running after this person Lord have mercy. What is going on here? Whoo! <laughs> like, what in the entire world is happening? Mm-mm. Mm-mm, honey. Somebody needs to get it together. So this person could have two child support cases. Okay. That's where that domestic violence is coming from. That five of wands. Yeah, this person, this queen of wands and this king of wands or king of cups or whatever. They've absolutely had something in the past where shit gets toxic. Fighting. Yeah. So this person could have some type of, you know, because when I'm looking at that court case card, I'm seeing child support, domestic violence, attacks, civil matter, crime, fraud and theft. But domestic violence and child support could just keep sticking out to me. So this queen of wands could have been holding that over this person's head or I don't know. That's dangerous. Okay. Wrong way, man. <laughs> you know, this. if y'all didn't get along and you were fighting and it got physical and the police or whatever, you better go. Okay. As exciting as it all seems to you, for whatever reason, you might need to make your life a, a little bit more simpler. Okay. I'm not even getting a lot of energy off of this high priestess. I'm getting a lot of serenity. I'm getting a lot of balance. I'm getting a lot of blocking shit out, blocking you out. And whoever this sexual connection is, listen, six of cups, five of wands. Yeah, absolutely. Somebody has some type of domestic situation. Yeah, they absolutely did. Well, part two, let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, divine angels. We got time today. Yeah, look. Somebody's walking away, abandoning toxic ways and toxic connections. Wherever this King of Cups is, you know, this is about him growing up. He feels as though he's missed an opportunity with this uh, high priestess. Wow. Holy Spirit, my beautiful angels. Can please show me what it is that I need to see. He wants to reconcile. Okay. His oldest child. There's something dynamic there. Maybe he's wanting this other child to live with him. I just heard. Okay. So all of that has to do with family and somebody was just torn, you know? Yeah, somebody's like two different people. With this high priestess, it's all zen and quiet and calm. Like I pick up so so much good energy off of you, whoever you are. You could meditate while you're pregnant, sitting in water. I just heard water birth. Okay. Somebody wears the African beats around their, their womb. Somebody is like tapped in for somebody to be playing around. Ooh, with a spiritual parasite also known as a sexual connection if you don't get your also known as <laughs> better known as the better business sexual connection bureau out here making decisions off of a sexual connection and you got a domestic violence okay listen wrong way this is what your ancestors are saying they've been giving you red flags you need to pay attention or you're gonna end up somewhere up under the jail fooling with whoever that was okay Show me the situation with this high priestess, Holy Spirit. What's going on with this King of Cups and this high priestess? What is it that we need to see about the high priestess? This person's disappointed. They're hurt. Okay. Somebody's disappointed and they're hurt. Yeah, they are. They put a death to this shit. Scorpionic energy. Somebody's like, mm -mm. yeah, whoever you are, uh, Mr. King of Cups, Mr. Wand, uh, you know, can't make a decision. And I'm not making fun of you, but yeah, somebody got to pull your card. 
death. Scorpionic energy. This person is being real cold on you right now. Let me tell you something. This person has gone through a massive ascension. Not only that, the child that they're carrying is a gift. Is an earth angel child. So their energy is on a thousand. They don't need to be around you to know what's going on, baby. They're carrying a version of you, the best version of you in their womb. Okay? Just so you know. Because I feel like you're looking for this person. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, this person wants to come in. This person's like, I want to do the right thing. Emperor energy. Come in, be a father, be a husband. Somebody, somebody is ready. I don't know. Knight of Swords, this queen... <laughs> This uh, queen of, is this a queen of cups, high priestess, whatever, this divine feminine, she's standing up for herself. This person is saying, if you want them, you're going to have to fight. But at the same time, she's saying by way of transformation, death to the transformation, you've gone through a major transformation as well. Rightfully so. I don't see how you could not, considering the circumstances. Somebody want this high priestess, honey. Two of cups. Somebody's looking for you, high priestess. Somebody's looking for you. I heard you could have changed area codes, zip codes, something. Mm -mm. Changing clothes. What's going on, spirit? Clarify this two of cups and what is this man talking about? <laughs> yeah, it's a breakup, honey. They're separated. This is hard for him. Somebody didn't realize just how much you were important to them until you were gone. And that for me, honestly, if I have to put in my two cents, I know this is spiritual court. And I know I just kind of commercial break myself into middle of the middle of the readings. But listen, in my opinion, somebody had a whole bunch of red flags. This is the part that concerns me. There were a lot of warning signs about this third party, old party, old reconciliation you know, I'm not going nowhere. I'm always going to be here on the side type of an energy. Somebody is comfortable, but somebody was really preparing to go have a family too with this other person. Okay. Something's real familiar there. I'm going to be honest. But the more they're around each other, they're just like, this is not going to work. They could have went on vacation and got into an argument. Something just didn't go right. Wrong way. Okay. So somebody, unfortunately, didn't realize your value until you were gone. I got a, a problem with that, though. I'll be honest. Why? Why is that? Why didn't you appreciate this high priestess when you had this high priestess? Why now? Oh, okay. So there's some magic here in the mix. Okay, let's find out who's doing the magic. Who's doing the magic? They want to apologize. Somebody wants to apologize when the apology comes before what it is that we know that you've done. That's another red flag. Clarify the page of cups. Yeah, somebody created some type of an illusion. Okay, seven of cups to the magician. So if you did this on the high priestess, let me explain to you what that death card means. This high priestess feels spiritually disrespected. That's a whole nother level of disrespect though. I'm gonna be honest. That could very well be something that you might not be able to overcome. However, this person does have a child with you on the way. So if you violated this person on a spiritual level, clarify the seven of cups to the magician for this emperor. If you did that, oh man, you might as well just keep on going the wrong way, the right way, whatever it, it just keep, let this one go, honey, pass this one by seven of cups to the magician and you had options. Yeah. You betrayed this person. This is how they see you. Somebody is saying, when I needed you the most, somebody's carrying life and you violated their body. No, sir. No, 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 sir. Uh-uh. If you didn't know the value of that person when you had them, their attitude and their energy is saying you'll never know. Somebody's like, if you don't know me by now, you'll never know. Judgment. They're calling judgment down on you. And they know that you did some type of magic. Nine of Cups. This person is really close to nine months. They're really close to being due. And they've already planned out something that they're moving forward. The fool is taking a leap of faith. Somebody has found their inner strength in the middle of this pregnancy by themselves. And they're moving forward. The chariot. Damn. With the baby, honey. Whoo. 
Seven of Cups to the Magician. Somebody had options, honey. Somebody had a whole bunch of options. They could trade you. Clarify the situation for this emperor. Show me what it is we need to see. Yeah, King of Swords. Somebody was cold. Somebody didn't think about the outcome. Somebody didn't think, you know, if I do this, what's going to happen? By way of cause and effect. I don't know how you did it. <laughs> Leo energy. Something about you standing there. Your strength clarify this high priestess. Show me the high priestess. Yeah, toil and labor. Okay. It's been work. Toil and labor. Somebody feels as though they're having to do things and work at a time that maybe they don't want to. It's almost like I get this feeling like, you know, um, just let me finish out this pregnancy. Okay. Clarify. Yeah, listen. This person is hurting. They're disappointed. They don't want to be disappointed anymore. Okay. Eight of Wands. You could be communicating with this person. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Text messages. Calling. Somebody is blocking your ass, though. I'm going to be honest. Mm -mm. <laughs> Seven of Wands. I told you. They blocking you, honey. That fell right on right on top of the uh, strength card and judgment. <laughs> Somebody's blocking you as guided by the ancestors. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you here? This child is protected. Gabriel's blowing a horn in the distance. I hear the train. Burn. Listen, ain't nobody playing around here. And I'm not here to take that dagger and dig it and, and make the wound worse and put salt in your wounds, Emperor, because you are divine masculine. But you got so much work to do. Why didn't you know who this person was when you had them? Okay, so you were going through an awakening. Now you know the truth, okay? The star. Now you know the truth. Whoever you are, Somebody was going through the dark night of the soul trying to find themselves, trying to figure out what it is that they want. Destiny, the star. Somebody's in the public eye. High priestess. Okay, whoever you are, you could be in the public eye. Somebody's watching you just go towards your dreams. I'm going to be honest. Somebody had to figure out what they what their destiny was or confused. Like Somebody's confused. Somebody was satisfying their body, but not their mind and their spirit. It's like this sexual connection. These are two people. They have sex together well. Let's be honest. Outside of that, they can't have a conversation without arguing. And somebody, you know, my thing is this. If this was, if this is the situation that you were in before you met this high priestess, you should have just left this person alone. You created a weird ass third party situation with the high priestess. I'm just here to remind you. Show me what I need to see, please, and thank you. This person's pregnant. I can't make it up. Nine of Pentacles is a slow-moving energy. That's a baby. Nine months. Mm-mm, honey. The angels are protecting this person, and she's giving birth to an earth angel baby. This person is protected. So if you're texting this person, and you're going through changes, and you feel like you're going through like all this weird-ass energy, somebody feels like they're going crazy. You could feel like you're going crazy emperor it's the ancestors baby they're backing you up they're protecting her womb they're protecting her nine of pentacles okay eight of pentacles nine of pentacles somebody could be eight and a half months pregnant almost nine almost due and judgment is being called toil and labor this is not easy for her show me what else i need to see please and thank you in case you were wondering is she coming back i hear that's what she's asking is she coming back you need to worry if you coming back. <laughs> Are you going to come back from this dark night of the soul? Okay. Survival is never a guarantee in the dark night of the soul, boo. I'm just keeping it real. Do I need to tell you one more time, sir? Don't shoot me. I'm just a lady in spiritual court telling the truth. I can see both sides. Nine of swords, honey. Stressed out. Going crazy. Hearing voices. You know, seeing shadows. Welcome to the dark night of the soul. You got to face them demons. Okay. All those red flags. That's what you're facing right now. Okay. Everything that told you no, and you went against your higher self. Now the spirit is saying, okay, well, since you went against your higher self. Okay. And that's where you want to be. Let's have you face. Okay. 
Let's have you face your lower self. I can't make it up. Look at that. Nine of wands, paranoid, scared. Somebody's hearing voices, hearing this high priestess voice. Somebody's hearing this high priestess voice. Nine of swords, stressed out. Eight of swords. They don't know if they're going to be there to see the baby born. Probably not. I feel like somebody is very grounded and protected. Somebody's like got stones around their belly. <laughs> ah! Somebody got a stone over their yoni, honey. There's no way. Okay. They're going to bring this earth angel star seed baby into the world. Who you giving birth to? Whoever this high priestess is, she understands the assignment. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of peace from her, okay? I'm getting a lot of peace from her. I really am high priestess. What an amazing channel message. I'm so grateful and honored to channel somebody's energy like this. I cannot make it up. Did I not just tell you? High vibrational spiritual guru giving birth to one of the most powerful earth angel babies that will be born in 2024, that's standing on spiritual business, the baby is coming in the middle of the revolution that they said wouldn't be televised? Okay. Oh, y'all didn't know he was in the middle of the revolution? What y'all thought was going on? <laughs> can we just have a commercial break? Yeah, let's have a commercial break. We can. What did y'all think was going on? Let's have a talk. What did you think? <laughs> you thought Cat Williams came out the gate? <laughs> because we was about to have a regular schmegular 2024? No, ma'am. No, sir. Listen, whoever you are, this person's at peace. I cannot make it up. She's saying, where's your queen of wands? Oh, sure. Oh. Listen, baby. She said, where's your queen of wands, honey, from the past? This is what she's doing. I'm going to be honest with you, Emperor. She's delivering you over to your shadow as guided by spirit. This person loves you. They care about you. They're carrying a version of you that you co-created in her womb. That is the ultimate sacrifice that she will ever give you. Do you understand that her body literally goes through a transformation as this spirit baby person that has chosen her, chosen you, crosses through the birth canal did you realize that her her pelvis has to temporarily detach in order to bring the child's body through the birth canal so if you're starting to feel less important you're going to need to get your ass get your head from out of your ass is what i was going to say get your ass up and stop having a pity party baby she's giving birth to a child Listen, you need to get it together. Eight of swords, nine of swords, self-imposed imprisonment. She's leaving you in your shadow. She's saying, listen, okay, I understand. So you weren't over your past. See, six of cups, queen of wands. So I'll leave you there. No problem. I'm the high priestess. I must, I must be obedient. She's got the whole ace of pentacles here. She knows who her child is. She knows who she is. Somebody is not out of it. She cares so deeply for you that she's willing to hand you over to the creator. And this is what it looks like because the seven of wands, the ancestors are telling her what to do and she's being obedient. She's like, mm -mm. child, she said, where is your queen of wands that you was given to, honey? Six of pentacles, remember? Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. She said, where is your queen of wands? Whoo, you better be real careful. Five of cups. She's aware that you're grieving. She's transmuting the energy, honestly, by way of the version of you that she's carrying in her womb. I know that can be a little intense, but that's exactly what's going on. She's guarding herself. She's protecting herself. She is the empress. She's with child. So a lot of what you want to discuss right now with her, she's like, no. <laughs> Eight of wands. She's like, no, she gets your messages, but she's not answering. She's not having those conversations and she may or may not be getting your messages. I'm gonna be honest. It's guided by source. She could have blocked your ass. Okay. To protect her peace. Whatever it is that you want to talk about right now, it's not a good time. She feels like, no, uh-uh, you don't understand. I'm with child. I will not, I cannot have any conversation about anything devastating. This person understands energy. 
She knows what she did with the Queen of Wands. She's like, look, go back over there. This person completely detached from you, by the way, completely detached. Clarify, show me what I need to see. Yeah, I can't make it up. She's like, I don't have time for silent competitions. Whatever this is, this Queen of Wands, all they want to do is fight and cry. And this person's like, no, mm -mm, no. This Queen of Wands could be doing some type of magic too, moon magic. This High Priestess is absolutely aware of all of it. Show me what else I need to see, please. And thank you. She don't give a damn because you know why? She knows that the growth and the choice and the and the situation by way of the the meat of the lesson, the karmic lesson, is primarily for you. The bulk of it is for you, Emperor. So this is why she's so cool. This person is tapped in. She's not jealous. She's not mad. She's taking it on the chin and she's protecting her child and she's listening to her ancestors. She knows that you are her twin. Okay? 4044, just as I said it, you better wake your ass up, honey, or whatever you got to do. So while you sitting up here lying and you've been on vacation and sexual connection with this queen of wands who's doing magic over you, conflict energy, the reason why y'all keep fighting is because you're ascending. You're a divine masculine. So while you're doing all of that and you got the high priestess over here having a child and it's your real high vibrational divine twin, ooh, twin, where have you been? Nobody knows me quite like you. Nobody gonna love me quite like you. You were made. That don't mean you're getting back in. I'm just saying that's just a song. But while you saying where you been, she's looking at you like twin. Mm-hmm. Where have you been? This person is not dumb, child. She had a dream. She saw, she was astral projecting over y'all while y'all was on the vacation. She heard the fight and everything. Stop playing. <laughs> Six of Swords, you could have gone across a body of water, baby. You was traveling. Uh, this is her telling me in a funny way. She's like, girl, I sure did. I saw their asses. <laughs> This person is contemplating as to whether or not this child is the only purpose for the connection. If that is the case, she's accepted it. She says, oh, okay, well, maybe the most I just wanted me to give birth to my child. And maybe this was the person I was supposed to have this child with. And I'm okay with that. Somebody's at peace. And you might not even believe that because you're in so much of these, like, you know, psychotic ass episodes and shambles. <laughs> she's, she's okay. I wouldn't even try to have a conversation right now. I'm gonna be honest. I would make a statement, but I wouldn't try to get, you know, a response by where the eight of wands and corresponded and texting and calling and barking and driving past or whatever else you got going on. Yeah, look, you want to make love. You need to be sitting your ass down and being celibate. Sit your punk ass down. The lovers, you could not make a decision. This is absolutely your person, though. Damn. You got to get through that eight of swords, though. Nine of swords could be some childhood trauma. Okay. Ten of pentacles. Your ancestors are on your ass. You know why? Because this high priestess called down judgment on you. And when she did, she called down judgment on the child that she's carrying. So she kind of has like, now she has leverage to your lineage. Do you understand how that works? Okay, let's just break it down on a commercial break. She's carrying your child. So when she called down judgment, that judgment is being rendered on, on your bloodline. Because she's carrying a version of you. You do understand that. She's carrying your child. So she has right now to intervene on behalf of her child by way of helping this child to break generational curses. Okay, well, listen. It's giving whatever it is that you weren't able to do, this child is now going to have to do. So she has rank in the spirit world. She's talking to the judgment angel. She goes, you know, this is not fair. Just let me be in peace. So in that eight of cups, when she walked away, they put her somewhere she's safe and with her feet kicked up in the 10 of pentacles. This is bloodline. She's saying, how will this affect my child? His gifts, her gifts. If it's a boy or a girl, I don't know. I'm getting a boy, okay? The Ten of Pentacles, honey. If it ain't a boy, it's a real feisty, feisty young lady <laughs> that ain't afraid, you know, to balance out her masculine side. But somebody is asking, how does this affect my child? How does this affect my lineage? I, I, listen, this is my person. I'm in Ten of Cups energy and this person is still in the Nine of Swords energy. I thought we had an understanding, but since he can't get over the past and giving to somebody else, then let me just deliver him over to this Queen of Wands. 
And that's what she did. And now he don't want the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands to the Knight of Wands. It's all sex, lust, whatever, whatever this Queen of Wands is doing in the bedroom, baby, with some little moon magic or whatever the hell they got going on. It it he ain't been able to get over it. And he's gonna have to deal with himself. Okay. This is you when it's looking all good. Knight of Wands. Okay. And then after it's done, you sitting up looking like this. Okay. For temporary satisfaction. <laughs> clarify this queen of wands is she doing magic show us what's going on because this queen of wands is like oh she's in love with this man honey she don't want to let this man go king of cups i just heard it's just my baby's daddy it's just my baby this must okay she got a child with this person so this is the mother of his child king of cups she sees him as caring loving kind gentle very mature it's so crazy because she's a little immature clarify this queen of wands Somebody uh, really wants to try to make it work with this man. Yeah, but they just can't stop fighting. Five of Swords. Can't, this Queen of Wands and this King, they just keep fighting and fighting. Like, they really want to make it work. But they just keep fighting. And most of it is because she could be doing something energetically that she's not telling him about. Okay? Why is that important? Because if this person is with their real, true, high vibrational twin, Four of Wands, you High Priestess, to the king of cups he's growing in a way that this is about self-love so what does that mean he goes back he backpedals to a cycle that's supposed to been over because he can't get over the past and this sexual connection satisfying his body and not his spirit right the sex is phenomenal i'm just going to be honest this is his attitude this is how she feels this is how he feels queen of wands listen but the fighting it's not worth it remember he's been exposed to his divine feminine so now he's requiring something a little bit more than a, you know, professional blow job. Okay. Or for you to be blowing smoke out your ears because he hitting it right. Okay. What, like it, what else can you do? Listen, she knows that they both have to move on for the sake of their child, for their friendship. They still have to have a relationship. Yeah. He's walking away. But her attitude is you always walk away, but you always come back. Because we got this sexual connection. And if you don't, I got that moon magic for your ass. Okay, well, listen. <laughs> you know, third party situation. She's got something going on too. Child, listen. Ain't nobody got time for this. This is ridiculous. So you removed yourself. You were the common denominator. Beautiful, divine, feminine. You absolutely did. Good for you. Okay. I, I feel honored to channel your energy. Ace of Pentacles, High Priestess energy. Like, whew, my goodness. Anything else we need to see here? Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. Look, somebody's got the ghost. Somebody's ass is in the dark night of soul so damn deep. Baby, you're going to need a spirit guide to make it out of that. You better call on your angels, honey. Be strong. We all had to go through that dark night of soul. But you, th you thought you was going to circumvent and just skip right on over what it was that you did? No. Yeah, listen, Seven of Pentacles. You got to go over your past investments, current investments. What did you do? How did you get to this point? You didn't get here by yourself. You got here because of the decisions that you made. Yeah. Karma. It's fair. The will of fortune. It's like the universe giving you exactly what it is that you put out. Show me what I need to see. Yeah, look, I can't make it up. The beautiful part about this is, let me tell you the beautiful part about this, beautiful emperor, because you're going to have to go through it. It's going to hurt. I'm going to be honest. It's going to hurt. It's going to tear your poor little ego down, baby. Your little ego is going to die several times. You'll be fine. Just get back up and have a real conversation with yourself, but you cannot come out the same. And you're not a bad guy. You're not. Not a bad guy. You're actually a really good father. King of Cups is somebody caring, a provider. Okay, but at the same time, what you have going on right now, beautiful, divine, masculine, is you have a spirit issue. This ain't got nothing to do with this high priestess or this queen of wands. This is an ancestral issue. They are calling for you to raise your lineage. And just so you know, you're effing up. You're really effing up the lineage. And this is why they're whooping your ass in the nine of swords to the swords. I'm just going to be honest. Something about sons. You could have two boys. Something about two kings, lineage. This is your bloodline coming through here. Ace of Pentacles. 
Yeah, somebody's giving birth to a star seed son. When I asked about this child, careful what you do. You don't want to have to look this guy in the eye, you know, 18 years from now or even a few years from now with him looking at you like, why you do that to my mom? <laughs> you better be careful. You know how I know? Because look, this child is coming up as, as the ace of cups. Are you crazy? I mean, not like that. I'm just telling you the type of children that you have. These are two very special boys, but this one that's coming in, this new one, whoo, Ace of Cups, honey, divinely guided, chose this high priestess. This child chose their mother, said, I'll take that one. They chose you too, emperor, okay? You need to understand that, but just know what level of your connection and just how deep this is. It's not a puppy. It's a child. It's a real person. This is a lifelong commitment to the day you die. And the day this person passes, nobody wants to go before their child. Listen, this child came into the world, baby, to have a victory. This is a very important child. This is the lottery ticket, Wheel of Fortune. You were supposed to live this destiny with your twin. What are the ancestors saying? They're saying to go within and sit your punk ass down. I'm going to be honest. Look, they're calling you to come to the Hierophant energy. Divine marriage. Divine union. Two of Pentacles. They're trying to balance things out in your, you know, uh, pursuit to happiness and basically effing everything up. That's okay. We've all been there. But it's time for you to get up out of that now. It's over. Period. Yeah, it's over. Mm. Child, this fell right on top of the... Ooh. Let me tell you something. You could feel like this Queen of Cups doesn't care about you anymore. Maybe you're not feeling her energy. And this terrifies you. She's coming up as a Queen of Cups in the reverse. This is not in a malicious way. In no way can I say that this person is malicious. I get too much good energy, high vibration from this woman. What a phenomenal person to give birth to your child. Queen of Cups, listen. This person cares. They're smart. And right now, you are absolutely the least of their worries. I'm going to be honest. They're focused on this child, their mental, spiritual well-being, meditation, talking to the ancestors, and going to the next level. Because what they're saying is this person knows that this is something that's a part of their destiny. Okay. They've already processed the fact that maybe if you're not there with them, that this still has to go on. And so for this child, they are grateful and they're really doing you a service. By way of staying calm, I'm going to be honest, you want to thank the Most High for having somebody carry your child that's calm. That's a blessing. You shouldn't be asking for nothing else right now. You need to clear up some stuff. Okay. Yeah, three of pentacles, collaboration. You're going to have to work well with these women. In a very calm and copacetic king of cups, calm, diplomatic way. Don't sell any pipe dreams. Don't sell any dreams. And, you know, you don't, listen, you're going to have to keep it real. Because these are two mandatory relationships in your life. Three of Pentacles, you're going to have to collaborate. That does not mean getting in the bed. No, you did that, remember? Red flag, remember? Sexual connection, it wasn't worth it. That's why you like this, okay? That's This is after sex. Okay, well, you know, I could just be, you know, giving you a hard time. But you're going to have to get it together because you got a child. This teenage child, okay, could possibly uh, be living with you. So you need to, whatever you got going on, this is Queen of Wands. This other child I feel is getting older. They, they're going to be living with you. Knight of Pentacles. This is a teenager with a spiritual gift too. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Yeah, I can't make it up. I knew that was coming. I saw it coming. I saw this coming. I almost said the hermit. Go within. You need to be celibate. Going within. I can't tell you what to do. We all got free will. But if I were you, I would sit my punk ass down. I wouldn't even worry about who I'm going to be with, what. Just listen, have a conversation with yourself.
Because the Knight of Wands guy, he's got to die. This guy is just, this is this is reckless. Sexual chemistry? Like, no, come on. You're a real divine masculine. I know you are. Yeah, you just don't like to lose. And this is why, you know, that situation maybe could have been a little hard for you. Maybe you felt that was only right since that was the, you know, first child that you had with somebody or whatever. Maybe you thought it was going to work out. I can't hate you for that, for wanting to be with this queen of wands. But this person got a lot going on. She's a reflection of your knight of wands energy. She too has some issues going on that she needs to work through. <laughs> only God knows. <laughs> Do we really need to go that deep? Maybe we will. Who knows? We'll see. We'll check. Why not? We got time today. The queen of wands, whoever she is, listen, whatever it is, you're the one that has to put it in order. You're the man. Okay. There has to be some level of decent, honest communication for the sake of these beautiful children. Ooh, you got some beautiful children, honey. You got some beautiful doggone children. I know that. Show me this queen of wands real quick. I'm not going to go that deep into her, y'all. I'm just curious because I feel like the story would only be right to be complete to get her side of the story. Yeah, she feels stuck. Okay. Is somebody stuck in the past? She's doing stuff under the moon she's not telling you about. Don't eat the spaghetti or the enchiladas. Okay. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles. She could have tried to get pregnant by you and it didn't work. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles. Just so you know, red flag, wrong way on this vacation. Okay. She was trying to get you caught up, honey. Hangman, nine of pentacles. She wants another baby and she doesn't want to have another baby by anybody else. Show me what else I need to see for this queen of wands, Holy Spirit, Archangel Michael. Yes, a hell to the no though. Uh-uh, page of wands. Maybe she's finding out that she's not pregnant or it didn't work or something that she tried to do. She's getting some type of bad news. I mean, this is somebody who's procrastinating in their life, lacks direction, Okay, this child that you have with her is absolutely a star seed. This child is a gift. He eventually will be living with you. I'm just going to be honest. Okay, this person could be 16, 17. Yeah, this is heartbreaking for her. She's stuck in a cycle, a karmic cycle. Okay, uh, too many secrets behind this person right now. This queen of wands. Show me this queen of wands. Yeah. And she feels like she's not, a, she's not a good mother. Queen of Cups in the reverse. So somebody really beats themselves up. She could be tired of being a mom. You know, tired of not having a family, whatever this is. You know, she's just kind of like that Knight of Wands energy. She feels as though you only see her um, in a sexual way. You don't see her as a good mother. You know, uh, Queen of Cups in the reverse. Somebody that is uh, struggling to love themselves and be independent. Something's very codependent. When it comes to this energy, very needy. Uh, this person could have some type of sexual addiction. Somebody's very needy, needy. Like something has to have somebody there all the time, in them, on them, whatever, sex, whatever. Yeah. It's like this person's gonna continue to communicate with you constantly. Uh, you could hear soon that this child wants to come to be with you. So whatever your moves are, you know, you absolutely want to plan to have that relationship with him. And try to have a friendship with her as best you can. But the way her life is going, somebody's going to learn some hard lessons. Yep. King of Wands, it's time for you to grow up. Okay. Put some fire. The reason why you're coming up as a King of Cups is because there's parts of your life where you're too passive. You're loving, you're caring, you're kind, but almost to a fault. But Spirit is saying you need to get some fire in you. You need to speak up. You need to be this man. You're going to have to put things in order and make it make sense and be fair right remember these are women yeah balance out that feminine energy you're coming up as a queen of swords feminine energy yeah you're gonna have to be stern remember both these women you have children with so you're the one that's the common denominator you gotta make it you know right yeah listen toil and labor you got two households now you gotta work for you need to make sure five of pentacles that nobody feels left out abandoned not provided for five of pentacles listen you are the father if you're gonna have sex protect yourself i say celibacy but you know i'm just a lady in spiritual court <laughs> flipping cards you know what i mean <laughs>
this is the message though. I love y'all. Whoever this was for, listen, my heart goes out to you. Like, honestly, I'm just like, oh, I'm sending you love and light. I pray that whatever it is you need to see, you see it and uh, that everything goes well for you. If this resonated with y'all or you want to donate to the channel, go ahead and do it. All the information is down below. I do not ask for donations. So if anybody's in the comments asking for you to donate or giving you a phone number, readings, no. When I start to do readings again, I will let y'all know. Do not get scammed out here. I got some haters. You know, they report the page. They want the numbers to go down. But it don't matter to me, y'all. I see everything, okay? Just ignore it. It's not me, just so you know. But if you want to donate, that's up to you. I don't require it is what I'm saying. So if there's somebody sending you this long ass paragraph talking about donate to this orphanage, no. I call judgment on that ass. Listen, I love y'all though. You want to send me love and hugs? I'll take that. I do. I love it. I love it. I'm sending it back to you. All the love and hugs. <laughs> I love y'all. I always come in peace, love, and light. You know that. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace be with you.